I've about had it up to here with you tea baggers. You need to get to the back seat again like I told you to. And eat your peas. Don't you know we won the election? Actually Mr. President you really didn't. Not in 2010 at least. We kicked your ass. Don't you remember? There was a candlelight vigil on MSNBC. Keith Olbermann cried. Twice. And Chris Matthews had a chill run down his leg. Well I'm still the President of the United States of America. The U.S. of KKKA. Goddamn America. Oh wow. What happened there? Anyway, I'm in charge now and I want to raise the debt ceiling. Rush Limbaugh is your leader, and you hate poor people. The debt ceiling? Isn't it more like a debt suggestion? Why call it a ceiling at all if it really is nothing but an inconvenience to your dream of spending us into oblivion? Well, George W. Bush raised it. Why can't I? It's not fair. I want it. And you're a racist. But you opposed it when Bush did it. I guess you were against it before you were for it. Anyway, I thought you were trying to do things differently than Bush. I didn't know you were such an admirer of W all of a sudden. I'm not. He is evil. All the left-wing blogs and my friends say so. But I want to do all of the same things he did anyway. That's why I bombed Libya, despite my mentor Reverend Jeremiah Wright's objections. He's tight with Qaddafi, but I needed my own war. But Mr. President, to keep spending and spending more than we can possibly pay back is insanity. Look. Let me be clear. Don't call my bluff. I won't stand for it. Mr. President? If you're bluffing, why on earth would I not call you on it? Have you ever been to Las Vegas for anything other than a Harry Reid fundraiser? Um. Mr. President? Um. So since you're bluffing, does that mean you don't really think Paul Ryan is going to push old ladies off of a cliff to their gruesome deaths? Um. So seniors will still get their checks in August unless you do not want them to? Um. I mean, for decades you guys have been promising there was a trust fund, or a lockbox, or some such nonsense. Was that true? Look. We need shared sacrifice. Let me be clear. Clear? I really wish you would be Mr. President, I really do. Do you believe Republicans really want to starve children and feed dog food to old people? No. I mean yes. Look. If you don't stop making me look stupid, I'm going to sick the poodle on you. She has a cute smile, but she's really vicious. She will absolutely bite your ankles off. Stupid. I cannot possibly make you look stupid, Mr. President. I am just a simple racist teabagger, and everyone says you are the most intelligent president any country has ever dreamed of. And they say it without a single shred of evidence to support it, so it must be true. Keith Olbermann says so, and he went to Cornell. Plus, you're clearly articulate. And clean. And can speak with a Negro dialect whenever you want to. To say that any of this is an act suggests that Joe Wilson may have been right when he said, you lie. Of course he wasn't right. We are in the summer of recovery. That was last year, Mr. President. Joe Biden told me so. Don't you remember? Well, the car is still in the ditch. I have to pull it out. No. Mr. President, again, thought happened already. The poodle says the car has been rescued from the ditch by the cliff that some evil Republican like Paul Ryan will sooner or later push nice grandmothers off of, and that it is the Obama economy now. Good luck with that. Look, let me be clear. Um. We need some shared sacrifice. Um. And a mop. And I don't want a socialist mop, either. And there are all these corporate jets flying around everywhere without paying their fair share, except Air Force One, of course. It is pandemonium. Eat your peas. I have a fundraiser to go to. You're truly hopeless Mr. President. I'm out of here. See you in 2012.